Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to today's video. In this video we are going to be doing a budget with me for my fourth paycheck of November. So stick around and let's get right into the video. So I have gotten to the holiday spirit. Um, I have my Christmas decorations up and a nice Christmas candle op uh, lit. So I'm really in the Christmas mood lately. I don't know what it is. Um, if it's not even at the time of me filming, it's not even past Thanksgiving. So who knows what's going on in my brain. But for this paycheck, we are working with a total of $1,400. And this is estimated because I need to get this all budgeted and ready to go before I know how much my husband's paycheck will be. However, I know it will be at least $1,400. So if there's any amount that is over, we'll just have that as a little bit of a buffer. And it's a, if it's a little bit less, I'll make some adjustments afterwards. So let's go ahead and jump right into our first category, which is the big stuff. So we are going to be giving our usual $220 towards rent. And then for debt, I need to do some quick calculating to see how much we need to put towards debt. I believe it's 400, but I'm not 100% sure. So we have $3,100 in debt to pay off in two months, which is $1,550 a month. And I'm going to skip to my last paycheck stuffing to see what our total amount towards debt was. It looks like we've already done $1,100. So I need to put $450 towards our debt for this paycheck in order to reach our goal for the month. So $450 going towards debt and our weekly spending. So this is for groceries, um, eating out, gas, and just regular spending. That will get its usual $225. So let's total all of this up. So that is $895 going towards our big stuff. And if we started with $1,400, so $505 remaining to work with for the rest of our budget. Moving on to bills. Bills. Uh, utilities, I'm going to give its usual 35, as well as phone getting its usual 35. Subscriptions, I will be giving $10, which is about what I normally give it. And then insurance, we are giving $50. And parking will get its usual 20. So let's total up this category. That is $150 going towards our bills for this week. So 505 minus our 150 is $355 remaining to go towards our sinking funds and our savings. So I'm gonna jump down to savings here. And one alteration I need to make, so it was on my goals list for this month to start my likes challenge. And so what that is, is I look at my last budget with me video and I take the number of likes on that and that is the number of dollars that I give myself um, to go towards the likes savings challenge. I've seen a few people here on YouTube, a few other budgeters do this. I can't think off the top of my head who I got inspiration from simply because I've seen so many people do it. However, I will try and make a list up here on the screen or down below in the description box of other YouTubers, other budgeters who do the likes challenge. Um, but that's how I'm gonna do it, is the number of likes on my last budget with me, the prior week's budget with me, that'll determine how many likes uh, or how many dollars. So I don't have that listed on here yet. So I'm gonna just kind of like scratch out this total and I'm gonna put the word likes. Hopefully for next month I can have this fixed. Um, so let me quickly go over to my YouTube studio and 
once it loads, we are going to take a look at my last budget with me video and we are going to see how many likes it currently has at the time of me filming this. So let's see, I think, which was our last budget with me? I think it was this $1,500 one. No, that can't be right. Weekly expenses check-in, paycheck number two. Oh, here we are. There was a happy mail with it. So this is my last um, budget with me video and I'm trying to see how many likes it has. Oh, it's right there. So at the time of me filming this, that has 14 likes on it. So that means I will be putting $14 towards my likes challenge. And then for our house, we have a goal to get that to, oh, low battery. We have a goal to get that to 3,000 for this month. And it is currently at 2,954. So that means we would need to put $46 towards our house fund. So, oops. So 46. And then I believe we wanted our emergency at a thousand. It has already reached 1,000. So I'm going to just put $20 in it this week. And our 100 envelope challenge. I would like to do um, one of these larger ones. And for that, I'd probably do like in the 60s. So let's go ahead and do number 63. That one's just calling to me right now. I don't know why. <laughs> so let's go ahead and total up our savings category for this week. We have house, emergency, 100 envelope, and our likes challenge. So $143 is going towards our savings category and we had 355 left over. So that is 212. I'm just going to put off to the side here. 200. Oh my gosh. 212 remaining. Hopefully my entire thing is on screen here. Uh, 212 remaining. So the last bit that we have to do is our sinking funds. And I have a 11 sinking funds and $212 to work with. So what I do is I divide my remaining amount for sinking funds and I divide that by the number that I have. So that is 19. I'm gonna round down and give each one 15. And then with whatever money I have left over, I will adjust the amounts. So let me quickly write in $15 on each of these. So each of my sinking funds has gotten its $15. So 15 times 11 is, is that right? 15 times 11, so 165. And we have 212 to work with. So 212 minus our 165 is $47 to add to our sinking funds. So this is when I'm going to kind of pick any funds that I think need just a little bit more um, love or something, you know, something that I think is coming up that I need to um, have more money in that fund for. And none of these are really calling out to me. <laughs> So um, I'm just gonna do this randomly, I think. Um, just add $10 at a time. I'm just gonna add an extra 10 to health. And then divide that there. Um, I think our car could use maybe 20 more. Or let's do 15 more. So we'll make that an even 30 that car is getting. I just wanna beef that up a little bit. We have 22 left to work with. I'm gonna add another five to miscellaneous. Um, let's go ahead and add a little bit more, another 10 to Christmas. So that'll get 25. And our last seven dollars, I'm gonna give to clothes. Simply because I want to buy more clothes and I don't have enough in that fund right now to buy clothes. <laughs> so let me quickly total all of these up and make sure that it equals the amount that we had remaining left over after all of our other categories. So 
So 212, which I believe was what we had left over from before, which gives us zero remaining, which is perfect because I work with a zero based budget, which means that I assign every dollar that me and my husband get paid, it gets assigned a job, a role within our budget. So let me quickly fill in our totals. So 895 went to the big stuff. 150 went towards bills. 143 towards savings and 212 towards our sinking fund. So let's total this up and make sure that it equals $1,400. And that it is $1,400. So zooming back out so you can see the whole thing. That is my entire fourth paycheck of November budgeted out. If you see any mistakes, please let me know. And that is it. So uh, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below, like the video so that I can have more likes so that I need have to put more in my sa likes savings challenge. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.